about what the hollow fuel transaction fees will be used for. And can you clarify here, Mary, what the fees will be used for? Oh, sure. Well, the fees are really just Holo's revenue. And so these are going to be used for all of Holo's operating expenses. It'll pay for continued product development work so that we can continue upgrading and offering better, better and more services to the users of the network. This is primarily the people who are managing the apps that require hosting. So more and more developer tools, more testing um, options and things like that. These, these fees are also used to pay for all the centralized services because remember, Holo is connecting peer-to-peer -peer Holochain applications to the centralized internet. In order to do that, you have to actually pay for centralized services and pretty much do that matching and, and routing to the DNS and all of those things. So the fees are, are used for a lot of things. One of the other big important parts of it is that they pay for all the costs related to regulated services of operating the reserve accounts. And as you heard Arthur saying, there's a lot of intricacies when it comes to this um, in terms of all the different jurisdictions and all the requirements. So there's some um, there, there's some expense there. But essentially, this is all Holo's revenue to pay for operating the company. And uh, then after that, anything beyond that is actually paying for continued development, continued work on Holochain, the protocol, basically the peer-to-peer -peer work. And so it's going into the foundation because Holochain owns the Holo hosting company.